Good morning, we're back. Doing something a little different today. Some cameras, CCTV. Um, so we're using these, which I think, yeah, Qvis. Uh, it's a 4K range. Um, the cameras we're using are visual and audio. Um, they're really good, really good cameras. I've got them on my house. We install them a lot. So we've got four, four channel system, four cameras, four terabyte uh, hard drive. We've got a wireless mouse, in case they need to plug it into the telly downstairs. We're gonna be putting it on the internet so it can be viewed on smartphones, tablets, internet, PC, anything you want um, from anywhere in the world, which is good. So we've gone round and planned out where we're gonna put the cameras. The first one, we're gonna put up here somewhere, which is gonna cover the garage and obviously anyone coming down the drive. Second one, we're gonna put above the door. Um, that's obviously gonna cover the path and anybody coming down again. Uh, whoever's at the door, if anybody tries the door, they're on the camera. And then we're gonna put another one over on the corner, which I'll show you in a minute, which is gonna cover the side path the sheds, everything like that, which is obviously the main things that people break into to have a look, have a nick, see what they can get out of it. And then the fourth one, we're gonna come down here and we're going to put up in this corner somewhere. Obviously that's gonna cover all the entrances. It's gonna cover the doors, the windows on the back. Um, the only place where there will be a little bit of a black spot is down that side of the house. But if you come to the front, you're gonna get caught on the other camera. If you come around to the back, you're gonna get caught on that camera. So all 99% of your access is covered by the um, the cameras. So we're gonna get set up, drill a couple of holes. Scotty's gonna go in the loft, because he's back now. Scotty's back, yay, Scotty's back. I know you all love Scotty. Um, so he's going to drill the holes, we'll get the rods set up, get the um, Cat5 on and then start pulling it through and we'll jump up the loft and have a look where we're going to locate everything. So we've got our Cat5 set up, young Scotty's drilled us an hole. I'll ask him about his holiday in a minute, I'm sure he'll love to tell you about us because he has been missed. So he's drilled the hole and then we've got this, the CK rods that we use, um, we've bought this little sock. It's the first time we've used it. I, I think it's a bit bit big for this cable, really, but I'm gonna give it a go. Give it a chance, see how we get on. Um, so Scott's gone up there, he's gonna pull them. And then all these camera locations, I've obviously got a cat five to each, and we're gonna pull them all to the center of the loft. And then we'll sort out locating the DVR, everything like that, um, once we're up there. But yeah, he's gonna give this a pull when he finally gets up there. Bit of shit on the lens then, wasn't there? He's going to give this a pull, uh, get it into the middle, yeah, and that's it, that's it. Just going to give it a pull and get it in. Don't really say any more, just waiting for him. Just waiting. So where I need to insert one of them things 20 hours later. Still waiting. <laughs> yeah, still, still waiting. Lovely weather though. Nice weather. There's a little wasp's nest down here. If you can see him. It'll be nice for him in there. Get him down to the corner in there with the wasps. Oh mate, yeah. Still waiting. <sighs> Scott! Any chance? Just wanted to show you this little thing, show you a bit more. It's like a little Chinese finger trap and things you put your finger in and you can't get it out. I'm really tempted to put my finger in as well. Might have to. See what we can see if we can get stuck. And then have to cut it and break it and then buy another, like everything else. But yeah, it's a nice little tool to be fair. I've seen the um super rod ones and I've I've wanted one. 
And then I found one, CK, off Amazon. So yeah, awesome. We are still waiting, you're right. You're right. Paused it for 10 minutes as well. Oh, he's here, I think. You got it! Give it a pull! Oh, 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 oh. We've got movement. Fair play to him. It's quite thick, this Cat 5 is. So that cable gripper I was just showing you. First time we've used it. Pushed it through the first hole. Cable's come off. So we're going back to taping it. Uh, I think they're a lot better for twin nerves, things like that. I just think this Cat 5 is a bit thin. I think you can get other sizes. Um, but for what we'd use, for what we do in Cat 5 and thinner cables, it's not really worth us buying it. They're about 20 quid each. Obviously in rewires and that, when we're pulling under the joists, under the, through the bays in the floor and that, it'll be mint, I think, I hope. I haven't used it. We've got a rewire on next week, we'll give it a go there. But for this, it's just too thin. So we'll be taping. You know, it's in all the state of my van. Is it honestly? It's really bad. And it just gets worse. And I think, oh, I'll tidy it up, I'll tidy it up. <sighs> the missus did the front of the van. If you all follow me on Instagram, you've seen that. And it's mint. It's like a new van. Like a new van. The back's just an embarrassment. So that's the second camera in. Scott's just pulling, pulling some more cable through so we can get it nice and neat in the loft round to the point. Um, the third one going up here, which is going to do like that, something like that anyway. Couldn't see what it was showing you, but basically to see the sheds. Because um, if anything's kept in there, it's, it needs protecting. So yeah, we go again. Look at that. Mm. I'm going to ask him. At a... Start again. Look at that. I'm going to let Langin basket bracket. Come on, join me. Next one we're going to do, there, like I just said, like I just told you, you're not listening. I'm going to drill through. Scott's down here for some reason, he's meant to be in the loft. Uh, going to drill through, bust up the rods, get them to him. Yeah? Yeah, he brought the rods down, Scott. You brought it down. I've just given him you again. He ain't even brought the rods down. It's got to deal with. He's a good looking lad, but fucking useless. Bear with me, mate. I've just got back from the Maldives. <laughs> the Maldives? <laughs> that was your holiday, Scott. Do you want to come and, come and tell the viewers? Come on, mate, don't be scared. Come and tell him. He's bought a little dressing up kit so he looked like one of the Sunshine Gang or what they're called. Skyline. Skyline Gang. He's bought a little thing, you know, um, what's that program? What's that program with the girl with blue hair? Years ago. She's got blue hair and she sings. And she's, um, there's a big bloke, he's the nasty one. Hello, I'll search it now for you, because he looks like the bloke. He's bought a little dressing up outfit to look like him. Kids program, girl with blue hair. Did they start up all that in mate? You got me wrong. Lazy town. <laughs> he's bought the little lazy town outfit, you know, the man in the blue. Sporticus. Sport Sporticus, yeah. Sporticus or Spartacus or something. He looks a treat. He sent me a few selfies. Looks awesome. Are you going to go up the loft, mate, or...? He's just gone back up the loft, but I wanted to show you his outfit. Can you see that? That's his selfie he sent me. Nice. Nice. I'm just showing him your outfit, Scott. <laughs> just showing him that selfie he sent me. Not the one the other night. Can't show that. Can't show that on YouTube. I'll show you, mate. 
I don't want the ends crashing. I just had to turn my GoPro off because it froze. I don't know why. Just does it. So this one's like a little unboxing. It's like someone sent me a gift. Anyone does want to send me a gift. Get out, mate. I love a gift. So, in the box, a DVR, four channel, um, Ethernet port for the internet, HDMI out, USB for your mouse, power supply, and then VGA connector if you want to plug it into a monitor. Put anything like that. Tat. Then you've got that's your connector that goes into your hard drive. You've got a wired mouse, and then you've got power supply, piece of paper. These screws connect your hard drive into the DVR, screw into the back so it's secure, doesn't get rattling about. I'll show you that in a minute. And then you've got the power lead for your, um, for your hard drive. So, let me just crack it open. I know some some um, some DVRs come with a hard drive fitted and they don't like you opening the boxes, but these ones we use. Uh, a couple of screws, pop it out, fit your own DVR, and then you can fit your own DVR. Come on, Jack. Fit your own hard drive so you can have different sizes. We always try and get a terabyte per camera. Um, you can go up and up and up, and it'll just it, all it'll do is extend the recording time. But I think a terabyte per camera is plenty, especially if you have it set for motion only. Let me just get my screwdrivers. <laughs> my new screwdrivers. Right, Scotty. Just doing a little unboxing for my fans. You what? Just doing a little unboxing for my fans. My oh. only fans. All five of them? Yeah, all five. So Zoe's gonna watch Hi it. Hi Jack's mom. My mom's gonna watch it. <laughs> That's about it. At the minute. We'll get there though. Do you think the Red Boys started off with all them? Aye. Because if you do, I've got news for you. They die. They probably did to be fair. So you got four little screws holding the case on. Take them out. Take the cover off. Nothing to them, really. Absolutely nothing. Nothing to them. So you can see this blue lead. Connectors there for that. Power lead there. And then the hard drive. I always feel like a hacker putting these in. Your mum's a hacker, isn't she, Scott? And your power. There's only one way around these can go, so you can't can't break it really. I could probably break it. I could break anything. Can't we, Scotty? He's a bit shy, Scotty is. You know? You all wanna see him, he just he's not interested. He's not. I've asked him. So here you've got four screw holes. They line up. One, two, three, four. One way. One way or another. I'm gonna find you. So start the first two off and you can slide them in. So 
for them to just slot into there, tighten them up, put the top two in. And we're there. Put the last two in, and then put the cover back on. And that is how you install the hard drive. Thanks for coming. Oh, we've got the cameraman now, saying action and that. So we're going to use this to strip. Little Nipex um, flex stripper. Little hole there. Bust the cable in the hole. Give it a little spin. Give it a tug. And then, that before, ain't you, mate? Yeah, I've done that before, mate. Give it another spin. Give it a tug. And there's your god cause. We're only going to be using brown and blue. We're going to be using brown for power. Blue for video feed. So these two. We're going to cut the cut a bit off. Leave a bit on there so anyone can use them for anything else. If they ever want them. You can double them up if you want better, better power or video. I think. I've just made that up. But sounds really good. Really good. So then shorten them down a bit, untwist them, untwist the dogs. Straighten them out, untwist the blue, straighten them out. Straighten them out, and I like to strip the end off. You haven't got to, I'm not making you. Strip the end off, fold it over. Fold it over like so. Should have done one and then I could have said, here's one we made earlier. Like, um, I don't know what the program's called, but yeah, like that. Oh, that's all. Heart attack, yeah. This is an heart attack. Heart attack. These got little screwdriver terminals in. Terminal. Loosen them off. Back them off. You're going to be using the brown as your plus and the brown and white as your negative. As your positive and negative, and I'm positive that's the way we're doing it. I should have been a comedian, shouldn't I, Scott? Such a funny guy. Such a funny bug guy. Right? It's elbow. That's what Zachary says anyway. I'm funny, handsome. I'm a full package, mate. Full package. Just need the money now. And I'm definitely the keeper. Same again with your uh, video. They're already backed off in the video. But again, blue for plus, blue, white for negative, minus. And that's it. And I'll go and get a camera. BRB. Oh, hi. Hi, Jack. Hi, I'm back. These are your ends on the camera. Same. So your power, straight in. Video. Ta. Video, straight in. And then take the base off, screw it up. Nice. So yeah, you don't really need to watch me do that, but that's that. I've just been watching some footage back deleting it from the other day. And I've just noticed that I say so a lot. So this is what we're doing, so this is what we're doing. I'm gonna stop it. So I'm gonna stop it. <laughs> I've noticed it loads, nearly every video I've done. So, so, every clip, even. So next thing, so next thing, so, so, so. So yeah, not doing it anymore. Don't say so, don't say so, don't say so. So, we're in the loft. <laughs> Scott's got the cables through. So they're all here. There's your four cameras. Uh, there's the DVR. We've got power already here. So 
what we'll do is screw that onto there. We've got three sockets. One, power supply for the cameras, power supply for the DVR, and power supply for the TV, just while we set it up. I've got a right little setup here, look. Get you on that shelf there. <laughs> I'm going to start stripping all these four ends off, make them off into the balance and the power connectors, and get them plugged in, get it set up. Thanks, Scotty. Thanks, Scotty. You're good laddies. Gonna get these stripped off, then connected in, and uh, I'll show you it when it's done. I just thought when I've moved into this position, I'd, I'd sing you a little song. Cause it's like being at infant school, primary school, isn't it? Away in a manger. <laughs> oh, I'm a funny guy, man. We've got it all rigged up now. I'm going around with my phone. If you can see that. I'm going to set up the positions, move them if they need adjusting. Take all the films off, clean up the lens, um, and then we're done. Scott's just dropped his back as he walked past. Nice. So, yeah. So, these have got a little film which blocks the microphone. So, I've tested them before, forgot to take the film off. Turn the microphone on, and it's just muffled. And then I've thought, oh, what have I done? What have I done? It's a film. There's a film on it. What I'm trying to do is get rid of that bit of roof because at night you'll just get an infrared glare off it and that's all you'll see so everywhere we can we we'll try and get rid of it look at me I'm famous mom I'm famous we are done another nice job fired off um, all finished told the customer set it up on the phone the iPad told them how it all works set it all up nice nice so yeah that's it um if you like what you're seeing leave a like leave a little comment if it's nasty leave it anyway i don't mind and subscribe if you like it thanks for watching see you later say bye jim say bye scott bye -bye, <laughs>